Good morning. I'm uh, about to leave for work. Maverick's on the porch and my car is running to get all warmed up. Um, things are doing okay. Um, after my boyfriend's episode of freaking out and throwing stuff, um, things have been pretty civil. Um, still looking to close on a house putting in another offer because they counter offered. Um, work's been okay. Maverick's been good. I mean, he still doesn't have enough strength in his back legs, but there has been improvement. So I can't complain. Right? Right. Here, I'll show you him on the porch right here. Oh, where is she? Can you see him? Nope. I'll move this a little more. Oh, I'm just dropping stuff now. He's right there. There he is. Just sniffing away, sitting in the sun. Yeah, having a good old time. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know how it's all gonna go, if I'm gonna stay here until I find a house or if I'm gonna go up to my parents' cabin and stick it out there. I'm, it really depends on if I can depend it really depends on if I can depend <laughs> on my boyfriend to stay mature about all of this. Um, a lot of people would try to tell me that this is not the right thing to do and that technically we're kind of already married so this is get like getting a divorce with the kid involved. Um, but it's not. It's certainly not. I haven't married him. And he the way he he's not ready for a relationship with the way he talks to me and how he acts it's it's not all me okay the worst that I do in this relationship is get sad depressed and sleep and drink other than that I treat him with the utmost respect and make sure I don't say anything that may come across and hurt him like let me give you an example he'll hold me to standards like one time we went to a restaurant and I got served really old pasta. Like it probably was sitting there, they threw it in the microwave and thought, eh, this will do. Well, at the end of that, we got a new batch. It was all fine and worked out, but he didn't want to tip the waiter absolutely anything. And I got upset. I'm like, it wasn't the waiter's fault. It was the cook's fault for one. He brought it out here, yes, and he should have realized that it looked crappy. But you know what? Who knows what he was going through, what was on his mind. He probably had a really bad day, or maybe he just didn't think about it because he's new. Whatever. You don't make him not make any money off our table because of the cook. And he wouldn't listen to me, and he still just wanted to tip absolutely nothing, and that made me mad. So I went out to the car and didn't wait for the check and all that stuff. He came back super upset, saying, if you're my wife, you will never do that again. And it's just like... What if I said stuff like that to you? If you're my husband, you're never going to talk to me like that again. But no, it wouldn't ever hold any value to him. It's all me that has to uphold to his standards of what he wants me to do. And yet, I just have to take however he is, however he wants to treat me, and however he wants to just live his life. Yet, I have to make all the um, adjustments, all the changes. To make sure that he is taken care of while he has no real it doesn't seem like he thinks that he needs to do any particular thing for me not even give me his time to talk to me about the things that I am doubtful about in our relationship communication is just a so yeah this is what has to happen, and through this, hopefully he'll mature, and I'll mature, and we will be the right people for each other. Other than that, that's all I got, and I gotta go to work.